This video will present uh, the use of custom events for BI for Server. Here I'm using BI for Server 2003 iFix02. And uh, I assume that it has already been installed and run at credential and the certificates are created uh, correctly. But uh, the BI for Server is not running right now. As you can see, there is no container running on. Um, all the contents of this video is actually already uh, explained in the public site, github.com, icp 4 bi emitter samples. And if you look at the readme, it explains exactly what I'm going to show here. So the first step consists in uh, um, configuring the BI to accept the custom events. So I'm going to edit a couple of files. First, the Fling file. Event processor config dot yaml. Let's go to the end. And I'm going to add two lines uh, for the new Kafka topic and the new Elasticsearch uh, index that correspond to this Kafka topic. Okay, save. So the Kafka topic and Elastic Search and Desk are called generic uh, schema. Now I will edit the Business Performance Center uh, the monitoring source file. Uh, just to tell the, the BPF Center that uh, we have a new source for uh, events. Another window to save time. Here is a new uh, displayed name of uh, my events uh, that I call uh, video of custom events. The arrow schema is a generic schema value. Elasticsearch index is a generic schema uh, star. And the monitoring source field is this one, the product ID dot keyword. Okay. Save. And now I can start uh, the BI for server. Okay, in the meantime, I can uh, um, clone the Git repository to have the code of the emitter of custom events. So let's take the code. Okay, I'll wait a little bit. Okay, BI. For server is started, but the containers are probably not ready yet. You see the if uh, the container are starting, but uh, we are, it doesn't matter. We have the time to to configure the uh, emitters uh, side. So let's make a, a temporary uh, directory inside the. Uh, the code of BI doesn't matter. Okay. I clone the repository. And here I have to modify two configuration files. So the first one is config. Okay, all I have to change is the Kafka password. The Kafka username admin is correct. But here I'm going to change the password for 
Kafka. Okay. The event that we will send is uh, this one, event for generic.json. This one is good. The generic schema is good also. The path is correct. The management URL where we register the schema is okay. okay. Management username admin is okay. The management password is the same password as Kafka. Registry URL is OK. And here we have the security property file for Kafka that I'm going to edit as well. This is the second file I need to change. I copy the path. I save the file. And I edit the Kafka product, producer property file. OK. So what I'm going to change here is the bootstrap server. Which is local host 29092. The trustor location. So um, the trustor location is under the uh, directory of the installation for BI for server in the cert kafka trustor.gks so here i need to modify the the first part of the path as i said it's the installation gear of my bi for server so this part of the path Now I need the trustor password. Our trustor password is under the certs Kafka uh, directory as well. So let's see. let's see the the password. Certs Kafka store password. Okay, so this is the password of my .gks file. Okay. I'm going to change the Kafka user admin and password And I put the same admin password couple here for the schema registry. Let's save the file. And now I'm ready. All I have to do is to compile with Gradle. It will generate a jar file that is um, the content of the uh, emitter code. Okay, it's ready. Um, before running the, the uh, starting emitting event, I will just check uh, the content of Elastic uh, data. So here I'm using a plugin extension which is called Elastic View. But there are some other uh, uh, extension for uh, most of the browser available. 
So I'll Active View or Elastic Head, Elastic Search Head. They are all the same. So here is my view of the Elastic Search data. Let's look at the index indexes, and you see there is no generic schema index. If I filter here with generic. Okay, there is no data. This is normal, and what we are going to do is to send an event of uh, that will populate the generic schema data. Okay, so okay, so I made a little an error on the password for Kafka, and it's not. Ah, but admin the username. Okay, everything else is correct. So let's start uh, sending uh, events. Okay, the event is sent, is waiting for on Kafka and receive uh, the message on Kafka. So you see here that the schema was successfully registered. Okay, the event is sent and received now by uh, by the sample uh, consumer. Now in Elastic View, if I refresh the indices, I see a new index and this uh, generic schema with uh, Normally, a document inside. And here is my uh, my event here, as shown as uh, it is stored in Elasticsearch. Now I can verify on. Uh, uh, Business Performance Center interface. So I open the dashboard, the different dashboard of the of the uh, tool. And I will create a new dashboard here. Let's call it Custom Events. Well, it's multiple, but doesn't matter. Let me create a chart, metric chart, name. Uh, Test. The monitoring source, uh, no, we, the monitoring source, of, uh, vi which is called video of custom events. Okay, and you see there is one uh, event uh, available on the on the data storage. Uh, if I take uh, the quantity is two, total price maximum is uh, five hundred. Let's go back to the count. Here you see I have a count. And if I send another event, it will be exactly the same, but does not matter. So the event is sent. And if you wait a little bit, Okay, the, you see that the Business Performance Center has updated its graphic because there is a new event coming in, and now there are two custom events available on Elasticsearch data. Okay, this is the end of the demo. Mm -hmm.